Allegory Gallery, and I am at Star Cottage Studio today in the bead room. Um, how are y'all doing? How is your week starting out? Um, our week is starting out a little bit crazy, and it's going to get a little bit crazier, I think, as the week goes on. Um, got a lot to do, um, but, you know, that's what it is, having a small business or two, right? Um having things be a little bit crazy here and there. So how's everyone else starting out their week? How's your Monday going? Um, oh, Deborah's in Ligonier. Glad you made it. Um, hello to you too. I hope your week is going well. Um, it rained here just a little bit, just a tiny bit, but um, quickly. Um, so I hope I had my windows up because I didn't even know it was raining until it was almost over. Um, but uh, it's pretty hot here. It's pretty hot here. Um, it's what, 82 today? The humidity's fairly high, I would say. So we're having some, you know, some rain come through, but not a whole lot. Um, what else is going on? There's a lot going on in the background that I really can't talk about. That's why I'm trying to parse in my brain what I can say and what I can't say and what's going on. Um, we had our electrician go up to the building in Johnstown that we're looking at purchasing and look through some things. So we have some things that we're working on there. Um, we have, uh, we're awaiting an estimate for some things on that. Um, we're talking with some insurance companies and some things on that. Um, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. Hello, Norma. Hello, Facebook user. I see Facebook user out there. I don't know who you are, but hello. Um, thanks for joining in today. Um, so yeah, I figure today, because we're like wild today, um, I just got up here to the cottage just a little bit ago to um, go over some things and work on some things. I have some ideas that I want to do. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm also tired. Um, I did get a good bit of sleep last night, but um, still tired. I woke up before I was ready to, I think, today. Um, but it was still later than I probably should have. Hello from Ontario, Facebook user. Thank you for joining us today. Um, if you don't want to be Facebook user in my comments like this, um, there's a link in the description to this video that takes you to StreamYard. Um, I think it's StreamYard.com slash Facebook. And you can go to that link and allow it access to your name so that I can see your name. Um, oh, it's Sandra. Okay, that one's Sandra. Um, I have a few Facebook users today. Suzanne is with us. Hello. Um, so today, because we are so crazy and so much is going on, I pulled some things from the online store that maybe you've not seen. How about that? Maybe you've not seen. And perhaps, um, perhaps you might want to see them, right? Um, so just a few things from the online store that I think that are really pretty. I don't know why they're still available, why they haven't sold out, but I'm going to show you some of those today and we'll just chit chat a little bit today and, and kind of, you know, um, ease into this week. We're going to ease into the week. Um, I do have some newer things to show you, but I'm not at the store today. I didn't go, I didn't even make it to the store today. Um, so I do have some things there that I'm going to show you, but, um, right now, right now as it is it's just gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at some stuff that's already there that maybe you missed right um i don't always like to do too many of these because i figure we get a lot of people who watch um often um but for those of you who may have missed you know a, a video or two it happens right you know you can't watch them all all the time um i figured to show you some things and these are some pretty things that like i said um kind of amazed that they're still they're still here they're still here. Oh, so what else is everyone doing? What else is everyone doing out there today? How's your day going? How's your week starting? Um, we have a busy week coming up. Tomorrow is going to be an exceptionally busy day. We have multiple um, online meetings all happening at the same time, apparently. Don't know why that happens, but it is. Um, and I have my other job, so I have to rush home from my other job um, to make sure I get home in time to attend one of those meetings so that Andrew can attend the other meeting and then we'll have to compare notes. Um, so yeah, yeah. 
Denise, I ordered some things from the online store. I know I have your package. I'm going to drop it off at your house today. Um, we refunded your shipping because you put shipping in there and I, that, that's crazy. So um, we refunded your shipping and I'll drop them off to your house today. Um, I did also send you an invoice for the necklace that you wanted too. So that's out there for you. Um, let's see here. Cynthia went for a nice long walk and took videos and pictures along the way. Nice, nice. Um, I wish I got to go on a walk today. I should have taken a walk today. It would have been nice. But um, I kind of lazed around the house a little bit for the first part of my day. And then I came to the cottage and I've been working on things here. Um, we're working on, um, I want to make, I think I've talked about this a little bit before, but I want to make some kits out of, not so much kits. I don't want them to be confused with like our inspiration kits, but some maybe some groupings um, of our AG Fine Pewter line. Of all the pewter that we have, I want to make some little groupings of those and sell them in, um, you know, they, are, they will be kits, but um, sell them in groups because I think um, looking through them all on the website, um, I don't think people are seeing them. So I want to kind of showcase them a little bit more with some little groupings and um, maybe we'll do animal themes or um, you know, maybe some kind of themes, or maybe it's just going to be some groups that I like so that you can buy a, a group of them and try them out instead of having to pick each individual one. Um, we want to get more of these into your hands and get you to use them. Um, but unless we really show them and specifically point them out, um, it's been slow going with them, which seems strange to me because they're so nice. And um, I think they should have picked up by now. So we're going to try and do some things to um, entice you and that way you'll be able to buy them in a group and play with a bunch of them at once. Um, that would be, that might be good. So that's what's happening for that. That's what I'm planning on doing um, probably, I don't know when, maybe today, tonight. I have to see, Andrew and I have some things to talk over tonight. Um, and then we're going to be sorting through, if you all ordered anything from the new gemstones, um, those should start going out on Wednesday. Um, so anyone who's paid their invoice for those, um, we're going to start working on shipping those on Wednesday. Um, we had to catch up on some things in the online store first, and now we'll be shipping those. So my apologies for anybody who's been waiting. It's not been too long. Um, but uh, we will be starting those on Wednesday. And I don't know what else is going on. I haven't been able to look past that point right now. Um, things have been wild uh, for the past few days and um, Andrew has been away for a week and a weekend pretty much. He was down at Touchstone all last week and he was in Pittsburgh this weekend. Um, I drove into Pittsburgh with him to attend the um, Allegheny Metal Collective meeting. They had a potluck so I went and attended that with him. Um, so that's good, right? And uh, Suzanne says, mine already shipped. The new gemstones could not have shipped yet. I just brought them to the cottage today. Um, so not sure what ended up shipping for you. Um, <clears throat> now, the um, if you're talking about the, the pears, those may have started to ship um, from the online store. But these are for the new gemstones that we showed you. Like uh, we had the selenite strands. Um, we had the, we had a lot, we had a lot. We, we did this from, uh, North Carolina, the ones that we did from North Carolina. Oh yes, Suzanne, your ring probably did ship. Um, your ring probably did ship. Marianne says my pair shipped. Yes, those probably shipped. I know that, um, we were working on those today, <clears throat> but I had, <clears throat> sorry, I had the, um, new gemstones that we did in Asheville. When we did the show from Asheville, I had those at my home office um, as I was taking pictures of them and got them posted online, and then I left them there. So that's my fault. Um, but we didn't really have time until today, really, as we were clearing out things from the online store. So um, we are going to start shipping those on Wednesday. And 
that's that's all I know for now. Um, if you have any questions about anything that you have outstanding or anything like that, you can always email us. Um, let me throw up the little banner here. Just send us an email at info at allegorygallery.com. I have been checking emails. Even when we were away, I was trying to check emails as best as I can. Um, so things are in the works. Um, we do ship on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, in case you didn't know that, those are our shipping days, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So um, we don't ship on other days. So if you have shipping questions on other days, um, uh, you can ask, but we'll get those sorted out on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, and that's just the schedule that works best for us. And um, we don't have, um, you know, we don't get one way or the other too many orders or too much free time for our helpers so we try and work that out as best we can so monday wednesday fridays is when we ship most of the time sometimes it changes up a little bit here and there but um that's when things ship so that's that um what is that horn with holder oh this this is all ceramic it's a ceramic <coughs> It is a ceramic vase, kind of. No, no drainage hole, but a ceramic vase inside of a holder. Um, we've got that. The, the guy that we stayed with in Providence um, was a ceramicist, or is a ceramicist. Um, and so, we stayed with him for the time that we were in uh, Providence for the SNAG um, conference, the Society of North American Goldsmiths, and um, we bought a few things from him whenever we, just before we left. Um, he had a few things that he had brought back from a show, I guess, and um, we asked him if they were available, and they were. So, yeah, that's that. Um, ba, 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 ba. did you enjoy Green Girl Studios yesterday? Did you all catch their live? Did you catch their live? Um, Cynthia and Azalea did another live yesterday. They showed a new kit. Um, and that was beautiful. Azalea showed some of her dolls, which was really nice to see. Um, I can't wait for her new drop of dolls to happen. She's working on some new ones as she stated in the video. And they also showed, um, some techniques on lapidary, some lapidary techniques. Um, so if you missed that, be sure to go over to Green Girl Studios over to their Facebook page and rewatch, replay the live um, that they had yesterday. Um, really good stuff. I missed the beginning of it because I was out getting food. Um, so I need to rewatch the beginning of it myself, but uh, I did catch the end. Um, well, most of it probably actually, but um, that was good. Uh, Marianne was watching PBS instead. Then go back, go back and rewatch their live. Um, it was good, good information and um, lots of good stuff on the website. They have a lot of kits available for sale um, on their website. I don't know how many they still have. Um, their kits are limited in number. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, um, but they have beautiful gemstone strands um, and their prices are really good for what is in the kits. I will tell you that. Um, because we bought some of those gemstone strands too, and um, we would have a hard time making those kits at that price. So you're getting a really good price from them. So be sure to check those out. They only had 10 of the kit from yesterday, and it was a beauty. So if you've not gotten those yet, um, please do check it out. Go back and rewatch their live. Um, let's see what else is going on in the world. Denise is not having a good day today. Oh, no. Hopefully that goes better for you. Um, Today is a weird day. I don't know where the day has gone. It's one of those days that I kind of, um, it's five, you know, it's five o'clock and I have no idea how five o'clock happened. No idea. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at today. Hello, Susan. Um, June is with us. Hello, June. Um, Suzanne says, I need inspiration on the African pewter. From our, from our collection, there's a lot you can do with that beautiful stuff. I like those um, African influenced beads, um, but we haven't done anything with them as far as inspiration. Maybe I'll, maybe Andrew can look at it in one of his tutorials. I'll be doing something tomorrow. I don't know what. Hello, Nancy. Thanks for joining us. Um, let's see. Suzanne says, waiting on the bone things. The bone things should have, 
I thought all the bone stuff shipped out. We're going to have to take a look at that. Um, waiting on the bone things. The wooden bone strands, those should have shipped out a while ago. Um, so send me an email if you don't mind, Suzanne, and um, I'll, I'll, to remind me to check in on that because um, that stuff, um, I know I talked to our helper last week, I think it was, and she said she had that stuff set aside and she said that was all done. So I hope it didn't get lost somewhere. And if it did, we'll take a look at it. Um, let's see here. Harry is with us. I don't know if I said that already. Hello, Harry. My brain is fried today. Fried today. Susan says, great news. After two weeks of cold showers, we have hot water. That's awesome. Um, it's, you know, that I, I, that's no fun when things aren't working right. Right. Those, you know, you, you talk about, um, I know it's modern conveniences, but hot water is a nice thing to have, right? Sandra says, Green Girls was really good yesterday. I was actually looking for something like that. Good. I'm glad that helped. I'm glad glad it was good. Um, Lena says, I have a pot from Gaia's husband that is similar. I love that. Nice. Nice. Hello, Barbara. Thanks for joining us. Suzanne says, yes, I'll email you. Thank you. Michelle, hello. Thanks for joining us today. So today's a slower day. I'm just kind of in a, you get into one of those moods where you don't feel like you can go fast. That's me today. That's maybe you can tell. Uh, my brain doesn't seem to be working fast today. Uh, my body doesn't seem to be working fast today. Um, there's a lot of processing that's going on and a lot of things are happening all at once. And sometimes that makes me, my anxiety gets a little high and I just have to take things slow. So that's me today. Um, maybe you all understand. Um, I know there are some people that can go at high speed all the time. That's not me. Um, so let me see what else is going on for you all. I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, if you are local, we will have class. Let me make sure. We will have class this weekend, um, or this Friday, I mean. This Friday, we will have um, make and take classes in the store. So if you are out there and you are watching and you are local to Ligonier, Pennsylvania, come join our classes on Friday, noon to four. Um, you can stop in any time during that period. Um, there's no reservations needed, but um, once the table does fill up, um, that's all the space we have. So. Um, if you are coming and it is, a, you know, a little bit of a drive for you, you might want to just call um, to make sure that we still have room um, for when you get here. Um, Marianne says, I got my bone strands. Yeah, I thought they went out already, so I'm not sure what might be happening. Um, Susan says, we're under a flash flood watch again. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's been crazy lately. It's been crazy lately. Marianne says, I have been known to tell my brain to start working, right? I feel like I need to have a conversation with myself sometimes. Um, Michelle says, my friend passed away a few days ago. Still very sad about it. Sorry to hear that, Michelle. That's a hard thing to go through, right? Um, that's a hard thing to go through. So we feel for you out there and hope you can find some comfort in other friends. Um, um, there's no, you know, there's no time period that that should take to get over, right? And to, to get past. So, um, hopefully you're able to work through it and, you know, do the best you can. That's all. Just do the best you can in your day. That's all that people can ask. Um, let's see here. Lennis has got my little by little shirt in the mail. Yes, those finally went out. We finally, that's the last batch. I talked about this a little bit, I think the last video. Um, that's the last batch of shirts we're going to be doing for some time. Um, our shirt maker has gone on to bigger things and um, ordering shirts in smaller quantities like we used to be able to do has gotten price prohibitive. Um, so we're no longer able to do that. Um, I would love, I got some new colors myself. We had to actually add on to the order in order to just get those ones that we got out because we didn't have enough orders to make a full order with her. Um, so I added more shirts for us so that we have some extras, but that is the last of the batch. So I'm glad it got out to you. Um, I think we sent our last one out today. So everyone out there who had a shirt on order, I believe the shirts should be on their way to you. 
Let's see. Susan says, at my age, I can't do high speed, maybe medium, but not super speedy. I get it. I get it. Um, Barbara says, shirts. Yeah, we had Allegory Gallery shirts for sale on the website for a while. Um, we had the Little by Little shirt, which is our slogan, Little by Little. Um, it's actually from a French, uh, French saying, Little by Little, the bird builds its nest. Um, meaning kind of that, you know, things don't always happen all at once. Sometimes you have to take things little by little and create something better. And that's what we've done at Allegory Gallery. We founded in 2011 um, with very limited funds because the bank laughed at us when we went in for a loan saying that we would never make it. And, you know, our town has about 1,500 people in the borough. Um, it's larger. It's about 6,000, I think, in the entire township that stretches fairly far um, but in our little vicinity that we would be, um, the bank did not believe we would make it. Um, so they would not give us a loan. Um, so we started with a little bit of money we could scrounge together. I had a little bit, um, I had a little bit of, uh, I had some stocks from Apple when I worked at Apple. Um, if I still had those stocks and we had not started our business, we would probably have a lot of money in those stocks. But when I turned them in back then, it was not so much. The stock hadn't split seven times yet. I think it split seven times at one point. Um, it had not done that yet. <laughs> um, so, you know, we did have, you know, I'm not going to laugh at the amount, but it was, you know, it was less than $10,000 that we started Allegory Gallery on. Um, and so uh, starting back then, um, you know, it was, it was, it was rough. It was hard. It was one of those things. But little by little, we have, you know, turned this into, you know, a business that ships worldwide, um, a business that, you know, is now able to support us and our livelihood. Uh, at first, I had another job that we paid our personal bills with and all the money that was made at Allegory got invested back into Allegory um, for the first few years, first four years, actually. Um, we had a five-year plan and we beat it by a year. Uh, I was able to leave my other job after four years instead of five with the business and we were able to, we've been able ever since to carry on um, living off the business and reinvesting into the business, anything else that's left over. Um, we don't take a lot from the business. Uh, we try not to pull money out of it and we try to reinvest so that we always have new things for you and interesting things and you know, that we can keep going. That's the goal. But it has been hard these past two years, especially. We really started in 2018. We had um, a giant construction project in our town. And because we are a tourist town, most of the spring and summer and fall were, you know, that entire year was mostly hardly any business. Um, when you are a vacation spot and your vacation spot is torn up by construction, you don't go to that vacation spot. You pick another one, right? And then once you pick another one, sometimes you don't go back to that other one. And so that's what happened. So for a number of years, starting in 2018, we lost a lot of business in store. Um, and then COVID hit. Um, just when people were starting to find us again, COVID hits. And it's never been the same. It has never been the same. So we rely on all of those out there, all of you out there who purchase online with us. Um, you are helping to keep this small town bead store alive. Um, but as we say, little by little, the bird builds its nest. And little by little, we've been able to acquire this building that I'm in now, where we ship out of for our online store. And Andrew has his studio. And this is our bead room um, that you see behind me, all the beads. And along all the walls, there are beads hanging here that we make kits out of these beads. So we've been able to do that. We're working on a building possibly in Johnstown right now. There are some snags that we've hit though with that. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. No matter what, we're still planning on starting another store. So we do have a fundraiser going um, to start another store and to make that happen. So we're still, even if this building doesn't quite work out, there are other ones we're looking at and things that are happening. So who knows what's gonna happen, but um, you know, little by little, we'll get there, right? That's all you can do. Sometimes you can't handle a lot at a time. And so little by little, um, but that was um, little by little was a fundraiser we did at one point. Um, we named it that, but we also, that's kind of our slogan. That and the rising tide raises all boats. Those are kind of the things that Allegory Gallery is founded on. The, the little by little idea 
that you know sometimes you can't make big jumps but you can do little things um, to create bigger things and um, the rising tide raises all boats you know um, we're very much for helping out you know our neighbors and our fellow merchants in town and you know out there in the world even um, because when when one does well we all do well that's the goal right um, if you bring more people into town for you or bring more people into town by showcasing another business in town like we often do um, hopefully that brings brings you know more abundance to everybody so that's what we try to do um, Barbara says, I always tell my kids little by little. Yes, 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 yes. Lena says, I want an AG shirt. I will buy one if you have them already. We don't. The only ones that we have are the ones that we have been wearing. Um, so I have no new AG shirts. We don't keep them in stock. We were having them printed on demand, which is why it took so long to get some of those other ones out there to all of you. So thank you for your patience and they should be arriving soon. Um, Nancy says, I live my life little by little. Yes, you have to mostly, right? unless you're you're extremely wealthy and you have a lot of connections most things in life are done little by little i think at least that's the way i have seen things happen and the things that my family has done my family has always done things little by little um you know accumulating and building a life um unless in this you know kind of world we're living in right now unless you have a lot of expendable income you just have to work at it little by little um, getting out of debt is little by little. Believe me, I know. Um, buying something new, little by little. Paying things off, little by little. Um, so, but we've been very lucky that we have, um, you know, vendors and people who are willing to work with us. And that's why we try to work with all of you out there if you need it, um, to make sure you get the things you need to keep going, right? Especially when you're making jewelry and having shows and stocking up. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at these some of these things that maybe you missed. Or maybe some of these I may not have even shown. You know, sometimes things get put into the online store and I don't even, you know, do a show on them. So some of these things you may have missed because I didn't do them. Some of them you may miss because we you missed the show. Um, but we're going to take a look. All right. We're going to take a look. The first thing I'm going to take a look at, um, I'm going to flip the camera here while I keep talking. The first thing we're going to take a look at are some of Andrew's um, Heart's Desire paintings. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why we have any of these left, to be 100% honest with you. Um, because they're beautiful. We sold out. He did a lot of these. I can't remember the exact number, but he did a lot. Um, and we still have some left. So, so let me show you because you may have missed them. Or if you're new to us, you may have never seen them before. So these were all done here in 2022. These are Heart's Desire. Andrew did a range, a whole rainbow um, of background colors. So this is from the orange series that he did. And this is a Death Head Hawk Moth. Um, that they actually do have what looks like a skull in their little, is that the thorax? Is that the thorax? Whatever that piece is, they have the, the it, some of them are really well defined and look like skulls and some of them are just kind of more abstract, but um, yeah. So we have these in the online store. These are available. They're only $65 each. These are hand painted, hand done and imagined by Andrew. And he signed each one. And you can get these in the online store right now. $65 each. I love the turtle. I don't know why the turtle's still here. I know we have people who love turtles out there. But each one has a hole. Um, so you can hang it. Um, I know some people have like shadow box these also. And, um, and done other things, but um, you can use them as ornaments. Some people have used them as ornaments on um, Christmas trees or during holidays. Susan says, I got one from the yellow series for my birthday. It's beautiful and it's hanging in our library office space. Thank you. So these are the some of the orange ones. And then we do have some from the yellow series still available as well. So here's a monarch in the yellow series. 
Here is looks like a catfish. Look at those colors when it hits the light just right. Here's a serpent snake with wings. And here's a lizard of some type. I can't remember what that is. A lizard of some type. Marion says, mine hang on a branch behind my desk. Yeah. Andrew also has a, um, Andrew has a vase, a very large vase that has rocks in it and um, has tree branches sticking out of it as well. And he um, usually uses that for earring pairs because we don't wear earrings. We don't have holes in our ears, um, but we do like to collect some from friends who make them. So he uses that. Salamander, that's it, Cynthia. Thank you. A little salamander. Here's a blue jay in the purple series. I love this blue jay. I don't know why this is still here. I think it came out really, really well. And then this one too. The woodpecker. They got their crowns on. The little bird. Andrew really went bird wild in the purple series. And this robin, too. So there are the purples that are left. And you can search Heart's Desire on the website and you'll see those. And let me put up, um, I'm going to put up the website there again so you can see allegorygallery.com. So there are those. And then in the, well, here is another. This is the darker purple. A little porcupine. And then we have the scarab beetle. And then the crab. I love the crab. I love the crab because it's blue and there are blue crabs, right? Every once in a while you get a blue crab. Or is there an entire, I think there are some that are blue. And then we have the green, whoops. And we have two greens left, two greens left. Cindy says the crab really pops, right? Yeah, I like it. I think this is one of my very favorites right there. That one, the beetle rolling the little sun. It's like it's rolling it, rolling it around. All right. Norma says, I've never seen the crab, but love that. Yeah. Isn't that nice? One of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. I just like the idea of the beetle rolling the sun around, the crabs grabbing the sun. So those are the Heart's Desire series that are still available in the online store. So check those out if you haven't already. Um, they're only $65 each. They are original artworks by Andrew. Um, so, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. These are hand painted, each one individually. Um, it took him a lot of time to do each one. And so we still have some left. All right, next thing we're gonna look at here are some small strands, some small strands of beads that you may have missed along the way. Check this out, Peridot, faceted two millimeter Peridot, only $12. Beautiful Peridot beads. So that's one of the strands and you can just search Peridot in the online store and that stuff will pop up for you. 
Um, any of these, you should just be able to search the online store and it'll pop right up for you. Um, I know some of you like the small strands, so we try to bring them in every once in a while. And we brought a big batch in, and I don't know that I actually went over them very well. Because um, we had them in store, and then we we snuck a few into the online store, and I may not have ever shown anybody. So I'm showing you now. I'm showing you now. So this is yellow opal. Multicolor yellow opal. Faceted rounds in two millimeters. Again, $15 for the strand. These are nice prices for these, especially when you get that faceted. So, multicolor yellow opal. These are all available in the online store. So, if you see something you like, you can just go right there, add it to your cart. Um, you do not have to send us uh, any type of uh, message or anything like that. Next up, we have Strawberry Quartz Faceted Rounds at three millimeters. Those are super pretty. So we have two strands of those, $20 each. Have you all seen these in the online store? Have I showed these before? I can't remember. Anybody watching, let me know. Have you seen these? Have I shown these? Cindy says, love the tiny beads, especially when they are faceted, right? Beautiful. Next up, we have some multicolor faceted three millimeter chrysoprase. Beautiful chrysoprase. Michelle says, love these two millimeter. Yeah, the two millimeter, three millimeter. I love that stuff. Suzanne says, you may have, but I don't remember seeing them. I may not have. These may have gotten snuck in. Sometimes we bring stuff into the physical store and we don't always do a show on it. Um, and then we take them from the physical store and move them to some of them, like we split them up and move them to the online store, and then we never talk about them. Sometimes that happens like that. Uh, let's see here. We showed the strawberry quartz in three millimeters. We also have the strawberry quartz in two millimeters. If you want the smaller size. And those are $18 for the smaller. They were 20 for the larger, for the three millimeter. Whoops. Well, I almost dumped that on the ground. Hold on, hold on everybody. I'm trying to get it back into their bag so that I don't make more of a mess um, than I'm already known to normally create. <laughs> I kind of come in like a whirlwind sometimes. Probably drives our helpers crazy. These blue moonstone, these are three millimeter faceted bicones. Three millimeter faceted bicones in blue moonstone. And that means it generally reflects with a blue color. And I don't know if you can see any of that here. My lighting is not perfect for showing that, but these are really pretty. Blue Moonstone, these are, like I said, three millimeter faceted bicones, and they're $24 a strand only. Sometimes these little strands, because the fastening is difficult and it's not you know, as easy, sometimes these are a lot more expensive than that. Um, but we got good prices, so, so do you. And you can see some of that flash, I think, on these. All right, so there are those. These are all things in the online store. They're already there. You may have missed them. So I like to review things in the online store every once in a while. 
just to make sure you see them. We also have that blue moonstone in um, in a faceted round in three millimeters. So that's available in the online store. And then um, we have rainbow appetite. Rainbow appetite um, faceted rounds in four millimeters. In four millimeters. There's only one strand of these available. This is really pretty. So this is $26. This is the multicolor rainbow appetite faceted rounds in four millimeters. I think those are really pretty. All right. Okay, so that's one bag. One bag I have here of things. And if you missed these, these are very large um, and fairly expensive, $78 a bead. Um, but these are large reproduction beads, um, Chinese Warring State beads. These are not, um, you know, they're not antiques. These are not, these are reproductions. They would be a heck of a lot more money if they were the real deal, right? Um, but these are gigantic Warring State reproduction beads. And we have a few of them. We have this one available. For those of you who like big beads and you cannot lie, right? We have this. I think these are gorgeous. Um, they're not for everyone because they are heavy and they are big, but um, for those of you who like that thing, that type of thing like me, they're well worth it. And I think this is the last one of these that we have. Cindy says, fancy, they look exactly like the antiques, right? They're even like sandblasted to make them look even closer. So it's a good, they're good repros, which is why the price is a little high on them, but um, probably any more that price is not high. And then we go back to some gemstone strands. Here, this is a strand of multi sapphire faceted rondelles, approximately five by three millimeters, $35 for the strand. Multi sapphire rondelles. I like these very earthy looking sapphires here. So we have one strand only of these left. These were popular. Um, so if you haven't grabbed one, you might want to. They're just beautiful sapphires, very earthy looking sapphires. Sometimes you don't want the bling bling like of that, those very expensive ones that we have right now um, that we did on our showcase. Um, sometimes you just want less blingy, but you want a nice stone, beautiful sapphires. Marianne says they're very autumnal, my favorite season. Mine too. Autumn, definitely my favorite season. Speaking of sapphires, we have some sapphire nuggets. These are approximately nine by 12 millimeters. Sapphire nuggets. I love these. Big chunk of sapphires, all different colors. some of the flash of that yellow sapphire in there. Beautiful sapphire nuggets. These are $132.50. 
Cindy says, those sapphire nugs are my flavor, right? They're really, really fun. Really nice, beautiful sapphire nuggets. Also fairly autumnal. Getting into the autumn colors. Maybe that's why I picked this box because I like the autumn colors and I'm ready for trees to change. I'm ready for the cooler air to come through. I'm totally all for that. Next up, we have green tourmaline quartz. All right, in 10 millimeters. Green tourmaline and quartz. Those are beautiful. You know I like the green. And this is $96 from the strand. Beautiful stones. Gorgeous color. $96 for the strand. Those are pretty. Those are very pretty. I forgot about those. Sometimes I forget about the things we have too. That's why it's also nice for me to get um, more acclimated and more in touch with what we have when I do these you may have missed it shows. Blue tourmaline. Blue tourmaline faceted rounds coming in at four millimeters. Cynthia says, Azalea and I call those green tourmaline quartz pond beads. They do look like a pond, right? This is, as you can see, blue tourmaline, four millimeter faceted rounds, 96 for the strand. These are gorgeous. The color on these is amazing. I only have one strand of that available left in the online store. And it's yours if you want it. Go there and get it. Look up blue tourmaline. You'll see it pop up. I don't know why these are still here. These are Cindy says they call that color indicolite. Yeah, you get blue tourmaline is often is called indicolite. And um, so there's some gemmy ones on there and there's some, you know, lots of different variations of the blue. So it's a whole strand of indicolite pretty much um, for $96, which is a really good deal because you don't see, um, usually when you buy a tourmaline strand, it might have one blue on there, it might have one. Um, Sandra says, I need that blue tourmaline. One strand left, Sandra. It's in the online store. Just go type blue tourmaline. It should pop up as long as no one else has gotten it already. Um, but it's a really pretty, pretty strand. And um, Cindy says that teal color is the rarest and most valuable, right? That's why that strand, it's a little strand, but it's $96. Um, like I said, usually when you buy a tourmaline strand, they'll have one or two indicolite beads on it. Um, this is pretty much a whole strand of the blue tourmaline in varying shades of the blue. Next up, emerald. Uh, these are faceted cubes, grade A emerald, five millimeter faceted cubes. Beautiful emerald beads. Beautiful emerald faceted cubes. Look how pretty those are. This is $112 for the strand. Very worth it. $112 for the five millimeter faceted emerald cubes. One strand of those available in the online store. I'm not even sure we have more of those in the physical store. Next up, fluorite. Faceted rounds coming in at six millimeters. High quality, beautiful. Look at the clarity of a lot of those in fluorite. A lot of times fluorite is very foggy. Um, these are fairly clear, very kind of gemmy. 
So this is a higher end fluorite strand. If you've not noticed, we've been doing a lot of fluorite. Fluorite is becoming big now. Um, we see it everywhere. We see it everywhere. And this is $52 for the six millimeter fluorite faceted rounds. I just saw an order come through. So if that's one of you out there, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hope you're finding some good stuff through this show. Susan says fluorite is underrated in my opinion. I agree. It's a beautiful stone. There's no reason why it should be. I mean, I think it's a soft stone and I think that's sometimes the issue, but um, it's a beautiful stone. It has all those colors. Like you like amethyst, you should like fluorite, right? It has all the colors of so many other stones. It's beautiful. Like look, look at this beautiful blue right there. That's like aquamarine, right? If you like aquamarine, you should like fluorite. If you like amethyst, you should like fluorite. Like there's no reason why you wouldn't like fluorite if you like some of those other stones, right? Beautiful strand, one strand available. Cindy says, those are extra pretty. I love that frosty palette, right? Me too. Oh, uh, where am I here? What am I doing? Okay. What am I up to? Ah, let's look at some tourmaline. Let's look at some more tourmaline. So here we have tourmaline faceted rondelles. Um, these are four millimeter, four millimeter tourmaline faceted rondelles. These are the deep, deep green over here, coming into a lighter green color, coming into the pink. Going into green here is you're getting starting to get into um, there might be right here. Here's some of that indicolite. Remember that whole strand of indicolite I showed you? There's kind of what you get on a regular strand. There are three pieces on there. There's some more in there though, too. Sandra says, Oh, I was able to get the blue tourmaline. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this is a strand of multicolor tourmaline all the colors in there, $80 for the strand, four millimeter faceted rondelles. I have only two of these left. Here's the other one, just to show you. Here's the other one. There's some of the indicolite in there, some there. There's never a lot of indicolite generally on one strand of mixed tourmaline ever. So that's why that other strand is, you know, it's not a very expensive. These are $80. That was like 96 or something. Um, but yeah, glad you grabbed it, Sandra. I don't know if I have any more of those in store or not. I think that was the last strand of those. And, oh, these are nice. These ones are nice. These are sapphires. Again, natural sapphire faceted rondelles at approximately six millimeters. Look at those. Look at those. Now, you know when a sapphire is red, it's really called a ruby. So there are some rubies on there, but we call this all a sapphire strand just to make it easy. But all the different colors of sapphires on there in these faceted rondelles. Like, look at that sparkle. Sapphire has that, they call it the hard sparkle, where you can really see that shine. There's no coating on these. That's just the natural shine because it's such a hard stone. It gives off that hard sparkle. We have one of these remaining, $152 for the sapphire, natural sapphire, six millimeter faceted rondelles. These are in the online store as well. Look at that beauty. Like this is stuff that comes out of the ground. I know I say that a lot, but it's amazing. Like these aren't color treated. This stuff comes out of the ground looking like that. I mean, we cut them and polish them, right? And, and facet them, somebody in the world does, but still look at that. No color treatment on those. Those are all natural, beautiful stones. Michelle says, I should get paid soon for the necklace I made. Nice, nice. 
Now we have some of these, which, um, you know, sometimes you just need a gemstone pendant, right? A simple gemstone pendant. And so I'm just going to pull these out. I'm not going to take them all out of the bag necessarily. Um, check that out. Check that out. Um, so I'm saying they seem smaller than six. They might, eh, I'm going to say those are pretty big. I'm going to say those are probably a true six. Um, but sometimes they're like 5.5 to six because they're, they're, um, generally hand cut. So um, sometimes they vary a little bit, but we have like this round Porto, Port, 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 Portoro marble. So sometimes you just want a simple, not flashy gemstone pendant. And so we do have, I know I never showed these when we put them in the online store. It's a Jasper, not quite sure, miscellaneous Jasper. Sometimes we don't quite know, it's not a big enough cut or, you know, anything showing any signs of what it might be. But these are fairly inexpensive, if I do remember. Um, I don't think they're very expensive at all. And so sometimes you just want a nice, a nice stone pendant. Right? I think so. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to see if I can find out for you. They're like six dollars each only. Six dollars each. Synthesis those would be perfect as a background for layered pendants. Yeah, you could you could dangle something in front, right? Cindy says, or painted. I used to paint river rocks with mermaids. These would be even better. That's a good idea. Do little paintings on them. So we have a bunch of those in the online store. I never showed those, so they're all still there, I think. We may have sold one or two. Um, but if I don't show something, sometimes we don't sell it. So it's a good time to show it now. Good time to show it now. So those are available. Um, if you like amber, we have packets of Lithuanian amber beads. And we have them in different colors and different sizes. So we have these. Those are SKUs up above, up here. We have in-store SKUs and online SKUs. So um, you can also search online by a lot of these sometimes, they'll pop up. But Elena says you could wrap the stones with filigree, right? Wrap it with filigree, you could do wire wrapping on them. It'd be pretty as a background for any of that. So we have these amber beads. If you just want a bag of amber beads you wanna work with, we have those in different colors and different sizes. Let's see what else I've got in my little box of goodies today. I just pulled one box from the online store um, to show you. We have pink opal. And we got a really good deal on this pink opal. So we bought a lot of it and then we priced it really good um, for all of you. So this is pink opal beads. And of course on screen, it doesn't look quite as pink as it does in person. The blue um, sapphire lenses on cameras, I think, neutralize some of that sometimes. So um, these are pink opal. They are really pretty. And if you really get in there, you can see a lot of those beautiful textures in the stones. And we got a good deal on these. So we bought a bunch of them. And each of these are only $14 a strand. These are 10 millimeter rounds. Um, we also have them in seven millimeter rounds. I'm not going to show them all to you. But we also have um, some pink opal chips. I will show you. Actually, these are, um, yeah, Peruvian pink opal. So we have one strand of chips available in the online store, 
the chips are $25. And they are more pink in person. They kind of look almost an orangey color on the camera, but these are nice and pink in person. So we have those available. Cindy says the pink opal looks like mermaid jewelry, right? I love, I love it. I don't know why we still have these, um, but there they are. And I want to say these may be coated because it's a softer stone. Um, so you might see that on there. There's a coating on them, I believe, um, just so that it doesn't, you know, so it's stabilized a little bit. And what else do I have in this wonderful bag of goodies? Oh, we got a lot of these too. A lot of these. Not a lot, just different sizes. This is Eagle Eye. We have Eagle Eye rounds. These are the 12 millimeter ones. Eagle Eye, 12 millimeter. We have Eagle Eye in a number of different sizes in the online store in the rounds. And they are stunning stones. Like, I love them so much. Norma says, Opal is my birthstone. Never seen it in pink. Yeah, beautiful pink opal. So Eagle Eye, um, that is $25 for the 12 millimeter. I have it in, what's this size? Trying to find the tag. $20 for 10 millimeter. We have it in $15 for eight millimeter and $13 for six millimeter. So if you like this eagle eye, it's really, really pretty. And I don't know if it comes across on camera as well as it does in person, but they are gorgeous stones. All right, so there's that. What else do I have? I'm not going to show you all the different sizes because they're pretty much they look the same. The eagle eyes are just smaller. They're just smaller. Oh, this strand is nice. One strand of this jumbo black tourmaline left in the online store. I don't think we have any of this in store either. I didn't even know we had any of this left. Um, black tourmaline nuggets, approximately 18 millimeters, $68 only for the strand. That's old pricing. That's old pricing. We've had this for a little while, for a little while. Big, chunky black tourmaline. If you need protection, black tourmaline is supposed to help keep away negative energies. Negative energies. So um, we always keep black tourmaline in the store. Try to keep out the negative vibes. Um, we keep it um, at the counter and at the front of the store. And not had too many crazy, crazy incidents since we started doing that. So... I'm gonna say it works for us. So one strand of the Jigundo black tourmaline chunks. Those would be great to use just as pendants, one pendant at a time in a design, right? Make your money back easily that way. Incorporate them one at a time as a pendant or a focal piece. And then these are an odd thing to add since we just did a bunch of gemstones, but this is, um, it looks like bone, but this is vintage plastic and they're $5 a strand only. So if you want something to go with your bone and you don't want to spend the money on bone or you don't want to make, you know, a whole necklace or bracelet of bone stuff, you can add these faux bone, um, vintage plastic pieces and they're super light, super light. So we have those as well. All right, that's pretty much what I've got in this little box to show you today. <clears throat> Suzanne says that plastic is great, thank you. 
We love it. We definitely love it. I'm glad you do too. So let me put these back in the box. Everything back in the box where it belongs so I don't get in trouble with anybody else. <clears throat> All right, let me go ahead and flip the camera real quick. So there you go. There you go. If you missed any of that um, at any point in time in the online store, hopefully you'll take a look and um, check it out. Maybe some of it will be something you want or need in your collection. Um, it's all at allegorygallery.com. And please remember, there is a lot in the online store. Um, there's a lot. And so if you are looking for something, I hope that you'll check us out um, when you're looking for things. Just go in and use the search function. Most of the time, if you search by the stone that you're looking for, it should come up. Um, sometimes sizes don't always come up uh, because when something is like two by three millimeters, um, if you search two millimeter, if it's, you know, it might not always come up. So look for the stone that you're looking for or whatever you're looking at the, the type of thing. And then the description should all um, have the sizes in it. Um, we try to put sizes in a lot of the titles too, um, so that it's easier. You don't have to go into each description, but every stone pretty much in there in the last, at least in the last year or so, um, all the measurements should be in the description. And sometimes depending on your screen, you have to scroll further than you think to get to the description. Um, of the item in the online store. I don't know why it does that. Um, I know on my desktop, sometimes when I'm looking, um, my uh, screen cuts off oftentimes just above where the description is. So I have to scroll a little bit and then it's there. Um, Nancy says, good plastic is underrated. It's true. It's true. We love vintage plastic. Um, good stuff is good. Good to use. Um, a lot of it looks like stone or crystal um, or just, uh, you know, sometimes it looks like um, tortoise shell or things like that too. Um, and it's super light and super nice to use. So all of that is in the online store. There is tons of stuff in there. So if you are looking for something, um, please, please check us out um, when you're searching for anything. Keep us in mind. Um, go to the online store, search, use the search function um, and check out, check it out. Um, I think that's all I've got for you today. So thank you all for tuning in with me. Thank you for, you know, hanging out for a little bit, looking at some stuff. And if you have any questions, you can always send us an email, info at allegorygallery.com. Um, you can send us a message, but um, like on Facebook, but um, uh, it's best to send us an email. Um, emails are a lot easier for us in case I need to send it off to somebody else and share it with somebody else um, who helps us. All right. So thank you all so very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, afternoon or morning, wherever it is in your neck of the woods. And we will be back here tomorrow. Andrew should be back um, as long as we don't have any um, online meetings that get in the way. He should be here around five tomorrow showing you something. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for all of your support. If you saw something today you like, I hope you'll go to the online store and grab it. And we'll be back here tomorrow. All right, everyone. Thank you again. Bye now.